By looking at the map, one can easily realize that uh, close friendship and cooperation between Turkey and Greece is a geographic and historic necessity. Uh, and it is also enough <coughs> to realize, uh, looking at the map, that the Aegean Sea <coughs> is a common sea between the two neighboring countries. We believe that the Aegean should be a bond of friendship rather than a rift of enmity between the two countries. Uh, we are far from uh, getting away from the traditional friendship between the two countries that was established from uh, Ataturk and Venizelos. In, on the contrary, we believe that friendship is not enough. Uh, we believe that uh, the two countries have enough common uh, interests to warrant their close cooperation in many fields, particularly political and economic fields. Uh, as the matter stands, uh, we cannot, of course, uh, wait until Greece feels herself ready for negotiations before uh, we use what we consider to be our legitimate rights in the Aegean. Greece may challenge these rights, but the peaceful way to challenge it is to sit around the table and to discuss, to negotiate such matters. Uh, we reminded, I reminded my colleague, the Greek Premier, when we met in Brussels right after the met NATO meeting on the 26th of uh, June, uh, that uh, President Nixon had said on that very day that in our age, there is no alternative to peace, there is no alternative to negotiation. And what we suggested was peaceful negotiations between the two countries. Greece has rejected that. We asked what alternative they had to negotiations, and there, was, there were none. 